All right, so uh, I had to take all the panels off to uh, fill the water. So this is a gallon of water right here, uh, five five quarts. Uh, gallon of water, actually four quarts of gallon of water. So it's a little bit over a gallon, a gallon and a quarter. Uh, I used distilled water and a straight straight water. Uh, the, 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 the owner's manual didn't say anything about coolant. Just says water, so I use distilled water, and why you use distilled water for cooling systems that you know it has to go through the radiator, right? Right here, and the radiator, you know, especially these thin, narrow passages. If you use regular tap water, it has the hardness to it. It has minerals, you know, calcium and lime and stuff. You know, so you look at your sink, your faucet, all that white stuff. That's the that's the hardness, the the minerals. So that's that stuff will actually clog the radiator over time. So that's why you have to use distilled water. So I have to some distilled water. Uh, poured it in here I basically just filled it up to to right here there's no water level or whatever so the more water you have the more cooling uh, there is All right so there's a pump in there and actually this wire right here attaches to the pump uh, water pump see what it, says? it says water pump uh, there's a thermostat right here the, the, the thermometer actually attaches to the the second uh, top of the top of the head on the second cylinder, piston. Um, fill it with oil. So here on the side here, there's oil. There's an oil level, and they say use a uh, 540 uh, motor oil. So I'm using a 540 uh, Rotella T6. This is what I use on my motorcycles. The synthetic. It's actually, it's actually a Group Three synthetic. Uh, Great stuff for motorcycles. That's the that's that's this is the, this is probably the the most cost efficient um, quality uh, oil for for motorcycles. I use that. Um, let's see what else with this. Uh, you know, taking off all the panels, everything looks really nice. It's you know it looks very very high quality. The fit and finish looks looks nice. Uh, so this is the where the air filter is. You know, obviously the outputs right here. Right, output and it comes and this comes from the uh, from the 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 actually this goes to the uh, the pressure gauge, but down here this comes from the piston. This you know the second the second piston. This is the first piston right here, where the where the intake is. The air intake. This is the air intake right here. So I'm pretty sure there's a filter underneath this. You take it out. Uh, well, maybe maybe not. But anyways, there's definitely a filter in here. So this is what this is. You take this nub off. It you, you have to filter. So that, you see that in my other video, the first video. Uh, this is the pressure relief. So, so what they recommend is you know, as you pump it up, uh, they say every once in a while you should just open this real quick, and whatever water build up and stuff, let it spray out, right? Just like you know, just like a, a like a split second, it spray out real quick, close it back up, and can you know, and keep on going. Um, let's see. So I got it hooked up already. 120 volts. And you see the light on. Let's see, see the light on here. See the little light on there. Actually, let's turn this on and see if it run. If it even runs. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's running. You hear the, uh, the fan. You hear the fan running. It's not very. So how it goes is this water out, out. So, so this. And we need to connect to the pump. So water out. Water out. Goes into the, to the, uh, the second piston head. That goes out into the first piston head. And that goes out that into the radiator. And from there the radiator goes out back into the water pump. So that works. Alright, turn it off. Uh, actually, my water level actually went down, and you can see it went down. So, because you know the vine and everything was all empty, right? So I'm actually gonna probably fill that back up now that I have. Uh, uh, now that I have water filled up throughout the cooling system, these are you know, obviously these are empty spots. So I'm gonna fill that back up with water in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna fill that back up with water in a little bit. Uh, they also say to uh, first time that you use this, you know, once you fill it up with oil. So, so it came with this plug here on top of 
the uh, oil fill hole. And, you know, once you fill the oil, you're supposed to take that plug off and and replace it with this this breather. So this is this is a breather, because if if you know how piston piston engines work, piston motors work, that you know, the, the the top of the piston you know produces that that the pressure, but on the, on the bottom side of the piston, there's also a little bit of pressure as well. So so that pressure has to uh, to to breathe out. Otherwise, it, all the pressure builds up in here. So it's that you know that blow out seals and stuff. So that's what this is for. This is a basically a breather for that. Um, so so they recommend the first time you use this thing uh, to you know plug it in and run it for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Um, basically, it that what that does is that that's that, that's the initial break-in of the of the pistons. It, it seats the rings and all that stuff. Um, and during that time, uh, you know, every, every you know every minute or so, uh, to you know breathe, breathe out a little bit um, and check the uh, pay attention to the temperature on the temperature gauge. The, the instruction says uh, this thing should not go higher than 95 degrees Celsius. Uh, so so 95 degrees Celsius that's almost 100 degrees, right? So basically almost boiling point of water essentially. Um, you know, 100 degrees Celsius is boiling point of water, right? So, uh, so this thing operates at the high temperature, you know, just as high as an internal combustion engine. In the same, you know, if, if it does go up to 95, I'm not sure if when it's actually running, I'm not sure if it will actually go up there, but, but that's the, the fail safe is that it's supposed to uh, shut down by itself. If it doesn't, you know, you should sh shut it down manually. But uh, let's see what else. I think I'm all ready to uh, turn this thing on, I think. Let's see. That's good there. I'm not sure if you're supposed to leave this thing open or close. Uh, when they said to uh, to uh, run it the initial 10 minutes, I need to double check the, the, the manual real fast. But uh, I think that's about it. So I'll make another video uh, once I finish running it or at the second half of running it. In the, maybe the last minute or so I'll turn the camera back on. Um, that's so you guys can see it. Alright, thanks for watching.